Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron, where we are currently working on crushing Spain. We have of course not entirely succeeded this yet, but we are definitely making our way through here and Spain is very likely to capitulate soon. That is good because we would like to move on from attacking Spain and Carpetania is of course our birthright. So that is of course wonderful. Now, I am noticing a lot of movement going on out over here, no doubt about that, from a lot of forces other than Spain. So I believe that there are a fair number of forces from South America on their way in here. Who all is in this? We should figure that out. Argentina, Brazil, Venezuela, Cuba, and Paraguay. Okay. So these are going to be kind of hard to get to. But once we get there, it should be relatively easy to take care of them in theory. So that'll be fine. We'll probably consider launching attacks from like out over here. Most likely. Cuba will definitely be challenging to get to. That said, Spain controls Puerto Rico. That could be a very, very useful jumping off point for us. No doubt about that. So that sounds really, really good. We do, of course, want Spain to capitulate, and they are 85% of the way towards capitulation. So we're going to continue to attack here. We're not really launching super heavy attacks right now. We're just kind of slowly creeping across the landscape at this moment. And that looks good. We have a few more areas to conquer in this air zone over here. We do also have this unassigned division. That will end up going here. Perfect. We are currently short on what? Chromium. Okay, so that is due to our tanks. No doubt about that. Honestly, I feel like we don't need to throw more military factories at tank production. What are we solid on in terms of resources right now? Steel, aluminum, mostly oil. Aluminum is really solid. Tungsten is really solid. Chromium, not so much. We are exporting some chromium, though, and that would be a good thing to get rid of. Now, we don't have a lot of political power at this moment, but if we were to do something like a closed economy here, that would be a good thing. However, we would need war economy or total mobilization in order to do that. We're on partial mobilization right now. Total mobilization is not necessarily a good thing. So that is definitely noted. War economy is probably an okay thing to do, though. We can't do that right now because we need more than 50% war support. And that is something we can definitely work on. That'll be changing a fair amount pretty soon. But for the moment, we're continuing to attack over here. I would like to potentially, like, bolster spirits or something like that. All of this is political power that that's going to cost. And we don't have a lot of political power available right now. There's a heavy ship hull finishing up. This armored division is going to hop in here. And what are we going to grab here? We're very, very close to finishing all of this, aren't we? Actually, I would argue that everything here is underway other than this heavy ship hull and this carrier hull. So let's get going on that. That looks very, very solid. And we'll just continue to attack out over this way. We're not making huge gains at this point, but we don't need to make huge gains at this point. We've got some supply issues out over here, but Madrid has fallen, and things are looking okay. Not necessarily phenomenal, but we're only attacking with one army at this time. We could launch a wide-ranging infantry attack if we really wanted to, but I don't feel like that's necessary. So for the moment, this seems fine. I do want to think about additional constructions to be done over here. So we'll get some anti-air done. We could get some radar stations out over here as well. We can probably get some infrastructure going. Yes, indeed. Is there anything that we can do out over here? That is already queued up. Okay, noted. So that seems absolutely fine. How are we doing on railways? Most of these are already in a good state. However, these railways, particularly up here, could really utilize some upgrades. So that looks solid. That'll get us more supplies up in this area, so that's good. Okay, so this toehold is great. We are not making a huge effort to push in at this moment. So this is all looking fine. Uh, how many slots do we have open right now? Two? Okay, 
so we can't really do any research over here that's fine i guess we could start working on like btrs sure let's get going on that and we can also get going on i guess ba20s sure that'll do so that is all underway at this point and we're going to continue to push through here as soon as we can but yeah there's a lot of enemies out over here for the moment this is basically a stalemate one thing we can certainly do is bring in additional tanks and sure we could absolutely do that we just make a front line out over here and for the time being that seems fine we'll just move in some of these armored divisions they are apparently not moving so this is army group two they're supposed to be here yeah, the unit assignment area defense order will go away. That's expected. So you're moving and you're moving now. Okay, perfect. So we have additional tanks on the way in. We're going to bring those in as soon as we can. This is an infantry division, but it's a fake infantry division. And so we're going to put that down over here. Sounds good. Our tanks will start arriving fairly soon. And once we have additional tanks here, that'll be great. I do want to eventually remove these guys' front line. In fact, right now is probably a decent time to do that. And I'd like to assign them instead to the Army Group 2 front line here. So I don't want to be in delete order mode. I just want to assign them like that. Okay, so they're going to position over here. And to be honest, our offensive line being somewhere around here would be really interesting. So let's do that, and let's get going on it. We're kind of giving up on this area up over here, but more because we want to cut the country in half, and this will be a very useful thing for us. So that'll be good. And we want to probably grab Marines 3 here. We don't actually have any of those training, of course, but that is fine. Okay, so all three of these armies are full of tanks. That looks fantastic. We've got additional units on the way in over here, but our tanks are now much more concentrated over in this area. And they're going to get going on that eventually. Hang on. Royce. What else is assigned to this? 24 divisions of Army 8. Did I have the wrong thing selected when I did that? I think I did. Okay, so we're going to do an offensive line with everybody selected. Thank you very much. An offensive line. We want this to be something like that. There we go. 71 divisions, and they'll now execute that. Perfect. So we now have our tanks executing that attack order. Our tanks are much more concentrated now, but we're also going to be bringing in a lot more tanks. They're on the way. So that all looks fantastic, and this attack over here is going very well indeed. We're making solid gains over on this side. That looks fantastic. So we're going to be cutting this side off. I think we'll come south and crush those with our tanks first, and then we'll attack in the north is the overall concept. So that seems good. We have a new marine doctrine here. We can do shore parties, or we can do jungle specialists. Shore parties is the way we're going to go here, for sure. Okay, so this push is going very, very well. No doubt about that. Next up, we have a research slot available. What do we want to grab here? The 1944 Carrier Hull is the answer. Looks good. Okay, so these attacks are definitely going extraordinarily well right now. If we get these guys cut off, then we're going to redirect our tanks at that point. They're going to all be in the south, and we're just going to wipe this out nice, nice and quickly. We've got plenty of infantry to hold these lines, so we shouldn't have any issues with this whatsoever. Other than potential supply issues. But honestly, the enemy is about to have a whole lot more supply issues than us. So that looks fantastic. We are almost there right now. Additional units moving in over here. We're attacking here. This is perfect. It's exactly what we want to see. Okay, we just need to carve a line through here. Just a single province is all we need at this time. So let's get these guys taken out. We are attacking here with only one tank and winning, which is a good sign. In fact, that's a very good sign. We do have an armored division here. This is going to go into a new army, which is going to get assigned to this army group. For now, we're not going to assign it to anything. 
It's only one, one unit, so that's no big deal. Okay, how are we doing on this push? They have a very narrow corridor here at this time. And we're in. Spain capitulates from that cut in half. Okay. They are just done. Fantastic. So there's still some units around here. We're going to have to do some cleanup, no doubt about that. But with Spain's capitulation, did we get access to these territories down here? The answer is no. We did not. So that is certainly noted. We're going to need to get some of these units out of here. These guys are going to come down here. These guys are going to come down here. There's a lot of units out over here. So I'm going to have this army come, like, down here, assigning these three divisions here. And they're just going to try to push in here, right? Something kind of like that. We're going to need to do some cleanup here for sure. So head in here, head in here, and here. You guys head in here. There's this territory out over here. That's definitely going to need to be cleaned up. But let's get some of this stuff taken care of. Okay. So for now, it's something along the lines of that. Now, we're likely to have some issues here. Because we were not necessarily in position for this, which is very expected, of course. So these guys up over here, I want to grab this army and tell them, come front line over here. And honestly, just launch an attack. There you go. That'll do. So we've got these guys out over here, and I want them to start an attack here. I want these guys to come down here. There we go. And just start pushing these lads back. That all looks phenomenal. So this is all taken care of. We're heading up over here. We're attacking down this way. So I want these guys to just continue to push in down here, like so. Just chase these in. There's a lot of units here, but they are not going to last very long here. Although there is a naval base here, so that is definitely noted. So these guys are going to continue to attack and head on in over here. They're succeeding this defense. Okay, don't actually do that attack. Actually, assign in over here. Although, they did get moved out of here. I'm going to grab some units from here. All of these guys are going to come in over here. Perfect. Now, there's also this area of Gibraltar over here. That is not an area that we can do anything about, unfortunately. So Spain is fully under our control now. We've got these areas down here we can attack. We've got Puerto Rico. There's some definite options for us here going forward. For now, I'm going to sort these guys in over here. We need to clean up these last few areas here. Okay. So we've got these units moving in. And that will allow us to hold this area. They've got a lot of troops in this area, but it seems okay. We've got them pinned in, kind of. Emphasis on kind of. We could certainly move, like, all of our units down here, but I have a feeling that this army should be sufficient once they get around to arriving. But that'll take them some time. We might get pushed back a little bit over here. I'd like to move one unit here over. And we'll get those going. Okay, so now we're holding here. We're still losing that engagement for the moment, but reinforcements are arriving. There we go. So that looks good. This area is pinned in. I want to grab these guys and tell them offensive line just straight in here. And they don't want to get going on that just yet, with good reason. They don't have the supplies or the manpower to do it at this time. But for the moment, we're just going to let them get into position, and that'll be absolutely great. Now we're going to need an area of defense over here. So that's going to be kind of a thing. We've got these guys up over here right now. They're working on this. Which, this is currently 265 minimum divisions, to garrison that, to be clear. And these guys are currently at 216 minimum. So, I mean, it's not going to be perfect, right? But it's fine. For the moment, I just want to get these guys fully pinned in, and we can launch this attack at basically any time. Go ahead and launch the attack now. It looks good. They should not have the supplies to be able to do this. Perfect. They're getting heavily stack waved. That is a lot of units that just ceased to exist. That is absolutely Black ideal. Buster. Now, I'm going to create a new army over here. And yes, this is going to be a bit problematic. We're going to do an area defense here. Here, 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 and here. 
Something like that. So that's 73 minimum divisions. Okay. So we need a lot more troops to hold those areas, right? That's for sure. But I do want to think about taking some of these other areas. Now, this is currently held by Spain, the Canary Islands. And that is almost certainly somewhere we want to attack. Let's begin a naval invasion order, and we're going to head down like that. So we'll have to cross through these two sea zones in order to do that. So that means that this fleet here, which is currently engaged in combat. Let's see. I'm wondering what the sizes of all of these are. Most of these fleets are currently unnecessary. I'm actually going to take all of these fleets and merge them together. So I want to merge these together. Apparently we can't move them in. Okay, that's exciting. Why can't we do that? Because I definitely want to do that. Well, we could just disband the fleet and return them to reserve. That's one way to do it. So we'll do exactly that. We'll just return all of these to the reserve. Okay, so now we've got all of these reserve fleets. And what do we want to do with them? Well, I want to select all of them. Well, can we just move them in here? I mean, yeah, it's really tedious, but we can do that. It's not the way to go, I think, but it's fine. There we go. So we have no fleets in reserve right now. I'm going to group together all of these task forces. And then this task force, I want to group together in here as well. So how do we do that? We just move that out over here, I guess. What just happened? Hmm. Is that in a different theater? Where did these guys go? Oh, they're all in... Hang on. They're all in reserve now? I think they're all in reserve. Okay. Let's make a new fleet with all of our reserve. This guy can be in charge. Now I want to split this fleet in half. There we go. And these guys are going to get a new area with a different leader. That'll be this guy. And I want to patrol up over here. And I want you to patrol down over here. Okay, so in theory, we'll get that done. Emphasis on in theory. Navies in this game are very weird. But we'll see how that ends up going. We have a research slot available, and we should definitely utilize that. Let's hop into, say, engineering and grab nuclear bombs, because we could definitely use some of those. I also want to get some constructions done over here. So we're going to maximize our infrastructure in Spain proper. We're going to get the resources that we can out of that, and that will be absolutely fine. I also want to get anti-air built up here. And then beyond that, radar stations would be probably overkill. But I suppose we can get going on them. There's not really a reason not to. So that seems fine, other than, you know, just delaying some of our other constructions. I'm not going to build air bases. I'm not going to build nuclear silos out over here either. Although I do see there's zero out of three here. So I'm going to build civilian factories in Galicia. That seems okay. So I want to take a look at nuclear reactors. Can we build any of those anywhere right now? I don't think so. I don't think we need to either. So this should be fine. We're just going to get all of that built up. That seems good. Of course, Spain capitulated, and that was worth 1.8% world tension. That seems absolutely fine. So we're going to be launching future naval invasions from Santa Cruz de Tenerife over here. I imagine I butchered that, but that is reasonably fine for now. So let's think about our invasion of South America. This is Argentina, Brazil, Venezuela, and Paraguay. So that is this one, this one, this one, and this one, right? That is all contiguous, and that is very convenient for us. Of course, Cuba is also on the list. And I feel like we should attack Puerto Rico first. So we attack here, and then we use that as a jumping off point to take Puerto Rico. From Puerto Rico, we attack Cuba... And then we also launch an attack probably into Venezuela. We may launch a secondary attack into Brazil down this direction. But I think an attack into Venezuela is the way to go here. So I'm going to move this guy in here. Looks, looks good. We could promote up a commander for this, and I think that we probably should. So I'm going to promote this guy. And then we're going to assign him here. There we go. That'll be fine. 
Excellent. So we have a lot of work to do on our Coast Guard forces. No doubt about that. I'm wondering, are we taking heavy attrition in any of these areas? The answer is no. So that's good. We apparently have 14,000 modern tank chassis. Okay. I'm going to stop throwing additional military factories at tank production. We don't have anything on civilian flight or medium flame tanks and civilian trains right now. That's intriguing. Okay, I'm going to back us off to here and we'll do something like that. So that looks good. We do need a trait unlock here. We'll gra grab landmine racks. That'll be fine. And we have this unassigned division. There's, in fact, several of them here. And we have these guys that are ready to go into our infantry reserve, which is this one. And then our tanks, which are ready to go in here. Perfect. So that looks absolutely fine for the moment. Now, this invasion is going to launch eventually. We lack the naval supremacy down here, of course. And I want to take a look at how that's actually going. Okay, these guys are currently repairing in Valencia. And these guys are currently re repairing as well. So I guess we'll let them do that. That's not that big of a concern. I am interested in potentially acquiring some air power in these regions, though. So I'm going to move these fighter wings over to here. And we're going to get started on a air superiority and interception mixed mission out here. Now, we should probably be expanding this airbase. This is a pretty small airbase, so I would like to get that brought up. So that's this airbase, I believe. No, that's this one. Okay, so that was actually the wrong airbase. We need to undo this and do this instead. Okay, so we're going to get that going. That will be absolutely fine. We'll need to transfer over a bunch of planes because we definitely need to be working on air control out in these regions for right now. So broadly, that looks good. Spain has capitulated. We already researched this, yes? Yes. Okay, so we should be good to go out over here, no problem. We're done with our air researches. We're done with our engineering researches. We're done with our industry researches. Okay, so we can work on like rocket artillery or anti-air guns. This is all reasonably fine. Yep, that seems okay. We'll get going on that. We are still a little bit short on chromium. We could trade for that. Or we could say, you know what? We're going to get more chromium out of Spain. And we are. We actually are going to get more chromium out of Spain. So that looks good. We're going to have to wait for this compliance to grow up a little bit. And we're going to have to wait for our infrastructure to get built. How far down is that? Is that being worked on? I want to prioritize that infrastructure. What about repairs? Well, these will automatically repair. We don't actually have to be working on this. So let's just let these automatically finish up. That'll be fine. We've got a lot of construction ongoing here. That all looks good. Okay, so we currently have a capacity of 800 airplanes here. I want to move these guys over. And they are going to head down to the African coast. Now, this is too many planes, obviously. And that's okay. We are going to continue to expand this out. That's not a problem. So all things considered, things are looking pretty good here. We've got 30,000 monthly recruitable growth in our states. That's solid. I like it. That's really, really solid. So we do need to get out of the existing war, right? Before we spark, like, the big war. And that's going to happen fairly soon. I don't think it's going to happen from the capitulation of all of these countries. But we'll see. This division can go in here for right now. I'm going to try to keep these approximately equally sized. But that's definitely going to take some time. No doubt about that. I don't really care where our troops are right now as long as they're not taking extreme attrition. So that seems okay. All things considered, no major problems there. This armored division goes here. And this infantry division will go here for the moment. Excellent. So we're going to be ready to launch this in like 60 days here. That's fine. How are we doing navally? We've almost left port. We're still currently repairing. Okay. Well, how's that going? Hmm. These don't appear to be changing.
intriguing. Well, we can definitely do this. Sure. I would like it if they would just, you know, go. <laughs> they don't seem interested for now. Now, this is a Mountaineer division. We're going to do something like that. This is an armored division. Sounds good. We'll sort that in here. A couple of research slots are currently available. Let's grab the BTR 1943 variant. And let's also grab the basic Amtrak. That will be fine. We have three military factories right now. And we may want to consider converting some of these military factories or one military factory over to a civilian factory, which is kind of a remarkable thing to want to do. But I kind of want to do that. I forget how to do it. So we would need to come down like over here and convert one of you. Yes, do that. And is that a construction? Yes. So we're going to move that up. That seems absolutely fine. That's going to be done on 20 September. Okay, that's going to take a little bit. Sure. We have a research slot available here, and we are going to take rocket artillery. We might as well get that done. Seems good. Okay, so all things considered, we're in a good spot right now. We have a fair amount of cleanup to do, especially over in the New World, but this is going to put us in a very interesting position. No doubt about that. We'll see what ends up happening as we get all of this dealt with, but it's going to take some time to get over there. There's no doubt about that. I do think that these are probably actually repairing. I just think that they're focusing on a ship that we can't see right now or something along those lines. But I don't know that for a fact. You're currently repairing in Valencia. Yes, I want you to abort that task. Okay, I want you to come out here too as well. He is not interested. Okay. He is still repairing, but up here we're currently at 100% naval supremacy. I expect us to be at that down here once this fleet gets around to coming down here as well. I want him to not be repairing right now. Just be at low priority for repair. What do you got going on here? This guy should be done here, but it is time to put a cut in here. Who is needing repairs? Oh, these guys. They're actually repairing. Okay. That seems fine as long as they're actually repairing. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to get this naval invasion of the Azores, or rather the Canary Islands. The Azores are out here. But the Canary Islands next episode. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Kentogan, Ali Lee, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.